Now that we know how to navigate the packet tracer, what we're going to do, we're going to create in our little blank screen here, because we're artists, we're going to create a very simple topology. We're going to pull out a router, we're going to pull out a switch, and we're going to pull out two PCs, okay? And we'll talk about that topology a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. We're in the packet tracer. What we want to do, I'll move to one side. We, uh, we want to go to our our routers, right? Right down here. Where am I? Oh, I'm over here. Whoop, kind of lost myself. Right over here. Okay, pick a router. We're going to pick the 1841 router. And we're going to drag it out. Put it on the top. We're going to go ahead and select the switch category. And we're going to pick the 29. 60 switch and bring it out and then we're going to pick a PC we'll pick two PCs and we're going to go ahead and select two PCs right here okay so we got a router which to layer three device a switch layer two device and we have two PCs so what are we going to do we're going to connect them now we're going to connect them using the proper cabling. Now we could cheat because if we were to pick the lightning bolt, right, under the category, and then we pick the lightning bolt again within where the cables are at, it'll actually choose a connection for us. Well, we don't want that. We want to choose the right type of cabling. So between a PC and a switch, we're going to choose a copper straight through cable. Now remember, when we talk about copper straight through, we're talking about either category five, and we're going to just go to F01, F01. We're talking about category five, twisted pair cabling, or category six, twisted pair cabling. When we get to the section in the course that deals with cabling, we'll talk about those cables. Obviously, we want CAT6. Why? Because we get that 1,000 megabits per second, right? Versus 100 megabits per second. So that's what we want. And then when we go from a switch to a router, we also want a copper straight through. Now, when we go from a switch to a router, I know I mentioned it before. I'm going to mention it again. All right. When I select the switch, I pick 24. And then I choose F00. I usually always choose F00. I'm zooming it in so you can see it very well. Let me move it over here. Okay. All right. So you got F00 on the PCs, F01, F02 on the switch, F024 on the switch, and F00 on the router. You may be asking yourself, hey, how come we got green lights on the PCs going to the switch, but we got a red light going from the switch to the router? Now, the reason that is, is because the router's interfaces by default, they're down. They're not on. They're turned off. Therefore, that's why you see that red. That's not an error. That's not an error. That is because the router's interfaces are completely off. A router, straight out of the box, with no configurations whatsoever, blank, all the interfaces will be turned off. That's why you see that. What's important here, what we're looking at, not to get too deep into it. This is a very simple topology. All right. Uh, what we have here, obviously, is an Ethernet network. All right. We have on a switch, and again, I'm maybe getting ahead of myself, but we'll talk about it deeper in other lessons. We have each port, and remember this, each port on a switch is its own collision domain. Therefore, we have one, two, three, whoops, collision domains right there but by default all switches all switches only create one broadcast domain therefore we have only this entire topology we have only one broadcast domain one broadcast domain all right it's nice that we have this as far as multiple collision domains that we have a switch all right, because we have that full duplex going back and forth. We can send and receive at the same time. All right. We've increased 
the bandwidth on that one port, but since we have one broadcast domain, what does that mean? That means that every time that this PC1 or PC0 is doing something that's trying to access the network, whether it be for a printer or trying to get to the internet, through the router, the other PC will hear that noise. Keep that in mind, keep that in mind. So this is it, this is how you create a simple, simple topology, all right? And now in the next videos to come, I will show you how to configure each and every device all right, and I'll go ahead before we end the video uh, or the lesson, I'll go ahead and put in here the IP address that we're going to use. And I'll make it a very simple one. We haven't gone into the IP chapter yet. So we'll make it a very simple one. All right, now one thing with me, and this is going to be throughout the course, okay? If this is the last standard, if you want to call it. I use the first available IP address for the nodes, the last available IP address for the gateways. I'll say it again. The first available IP addresses for the PCs or the end devices, and the last available IP addresses as the gateways. All right? So when we get into the next lecture, we'll start configuring devices. I'll see you there.